I just do it like. Welcome back, summoners. MBI here, going to bring you some of Z top lane gameplay. Let's say I've been really enjoying Z of late. I think I've uploaded a couple of videos, generally mostly Z vs Z. Luckily today it's not. It's a horrible matchup. Even though I think both times we've come out tops, I think. But anyway, we're going to Poppy today. How that will go, I'm not sure. I, I always say don't play Z top lane, but I really had an urge to play. You know, I had to go top, and you know, I'm, I have to play top. It's probably my uh, my favorite lane, the lane I'm most comfortable in. I can play majority of champions in there. But Zed's a champion that I love playing at the moment, but he's not really a top laner. He should really go mid because you're against a squishy champion. I've seen versus in the Ahari video, or even when I was Zed v Zed. Um, you know, if I went against an Ariana, she's so much squishier than what a Poppy's going to be. Poppy's going to have to itemize arm and that's going to be going in her build anyway. She may be going down damage route like a Triforce suit early on, which would be a good thing um, in some sense because she'd be a bit more squishier, but at the same time she might do some heavy damage. I've never really played Poppy. I think I uploaded a Poppy video because someone asked me about it to do it, and I can't remember how it went. I don't think it, I don't think it went all that bad, but I just didn't really get along with her, and I played against a Poppy last week when I was playing some uh, 5 v 5 with my friends. I was arrived. I was doing alright against her, but then it come late game, 30-40 minutes, and she, you know, just wrecked me. It was it was unreal. You know, the thing is, you can't have two people deal with her because she just puts your ult on some person, and only that person can do the damage. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, I haven't played League a lot recently. Actually. I probably haven't played League for three or four days, and I haven't actually made a video for about a week, mainly because I've had videos already stored on my hard drive. As you guys have probably seen, I hit 10k subs. Thank you very much, guys, especially for all you guys that continuously watch my videos. Big shout out to you, and I'm giving a free skin giveaway, which will be totally done in about a week's time. Um, just let some other people enter who haven't seen the video yet. Try and be fair and square, and a random guy from the US will be picked. So GG to oh, one lucky person. Um, the diamond plays right there. <laughs> the diamond plays. Um, but as I was saying, I launched my new channel, Helix Gaming Studio, what I'm doing with two friends. All going to be sort of, I want to stick mainly League content onto this channel, so other content you'll see on there is like Destiny, Call of Duty, Sleeping Dogs. I've done a walk for Sleeping Dogs on there at the moment, some Hearthstone gameplay. And yeah, lots more. You know, pretty much have some League content, but mostly it's all different stuff from League. From If you guys want to see me play something, give me a drop me a comment on one of the videos in there with my name on it. Or if you want to see one of the other guys play something, drop a, you know, drop a comment on one of their videos you'll know who they are and you know we're, we're there to try and please you guys and yeah, that's why I've been spending a lot of my time on lately and I've got a load of work which I forgot to come up to do renovating a flat so we've got to rip the kitchen bathroom out so that's going to take a load of my time up so a bit struck for time in the moment I mean, hence why I haven't really played much league but I've got a bit of time in now it's like do I play Stephen Dogs and I've been quite enjoying it um, the walkthrough is pretty cool so I recommend checking that out but I was like nah we got to play some league and then I was like well oh that was a bit of a fail uh, I was like who do we get I don't know, Z was a choice, so. Uh, we, what we want to be doing is constantly landing my Q. Every time my Q's up, I need to be hitting her, but I so I'm just trying to get warmed up into things. It's a little bit rusty, that's a cool. Oh, that was poor. A uh, cool probably skin. The thing is, if I miss it, I, no, I waste my energy. You don't want to be wasting energy, you want to be like trying to keep it up because it's so effective when I do hit her, but I, I'm uh, being pretty poor at the moment. Um, it's just me being rusty. Make sure we can get some minions. It's when you can get the W and then you do the W and Q and if you land both the W and the Q shuriken, that uh, shit's OP. No technique is forbidden. I think the lane's actually... Oh no, the lane seems to be... I don't know. Oh my god. This is what I mean. Deary me. Stuff like that. Oh, what the fuck. Uh, we actually landed one Q. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm, the problem is I'm blaming myself and I'm, it's making things probably even worse. I'm... Uh, it's just, if I was landing, you know, I'd be making a chug through pots left, right, and center. But I'm just playing it very uh, poorly, unfortunately. Um, not much we could have done there. Unfortunately, my W was like, you know, just didn't come up. It wasn't. It was pointless flashing. Um, we were in danger, but you know, unfortunately, had my W been up, you know, a couple seconds earlier, we wouldn't have taken all that unnecessary damage, which kind of makes me a little bit like scared, but. It's cool. We're looking alright. Um, I'm just, you know, warming up. That's what. That's my excuse. Lag, lag, lag. Like there, you know, that's some nice damage we did to her right there. And that's what you want to be doing. That's the power of landing your cues. It makes such a such a difference. We have to be very careful when. Um, oh my God! What the fuck? 
fair play to Syndra. She let me. She let me get the kill. That was. It was. It wasn't her fault. She was. She was letting me get the kill, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna W onto her. She's got no chance of getting away. You know, easy kill for me. GG's. You know, uh, Syndra, flipping Sejuani. That, that's how rusty I am on League at the moment. Syndra. Uh, I was like, "Well, what a good gank. Come from behind. It was no OP. I'm actually gonna try and kill this wave. Should have done it straight away." Uh, so out of place at the moment. Um, yeah, really good gank. Knocked her back. You know, she wasn't getting away even with her ghost. And it was a perfect gank. But unfortunately, because her red buff, uh, which was very unfortunate, because you know that that kill, Zed's a champion in my opinion that needs to get sort of free kills by 10 minutes. And I say with Akali and Jace, you don't have to, but if you get that, then you can snowball the game and you can carry the game. But because I didn't get that kill, then you know it slows me down a lot. I can't get my, well, I can't actually get my cutlass, but you know I could have probably got another longsword and blah blah blah. Um, which would be OP, and now I don't have my ignite, and I feel Zed loses a bit of kill pressure when you get. Once I hit level six, I won't have my ignite up, and I'm not going to have that. And but again, it's not um, Sejuani. You want to call her Syndra? Sorry, it's not Sejuani's fault. You know, um, it was just the way the cookie crumbles. But again, it was a good gank. It leaves some pressure, which meant that I was able to get a bit of a CS lead, and yeah, it was alright. It would be nice to have got that kill. As Zed, you know, I say, really strives upon getting those kills. Like Poppy, it doesn't really matter because she knows she's just going to be strong late game. But if I don't have kills going into late game, what can I do? If I can't, I, ha I have to blow up the uh, mid lane or the AD carry, or you know, even the top lane if I can, you know, just you know, with my ultimate. But if I can't do that because I'm not fed, then it's just GG. So we'll see. I need to be um, a bit more aggressive like that. Just keep poking her, but not don't get any close to the walls. I said I don't really play against many. You don't really see many poppies, but I know if we get into a wall, it's not going to be weird. And she has no items because of it, because she had to back so soon. So yeah, we're looking good. Just need to harass her more. Uh, what's my skill shots have got a bit better now. Um, we're actually going to. Uh, yeah, that was really really. Dope. I had a feeling Lee Sin might be coming. Of course, those minions, the minions. I always say, don't fight with the minions. Uh, uh, they almost turn that battle. But I just knew that you know she couldn't, uh, she couldn't do anything. And uh, even though I don't really know Poppy that well, she could have pulled something out of the bag. But I knew she kind of just knocked me into the w wall. There wasn't really much else she could do that in that situation. And you know, that was it. It was just a really dumb fight. Obviously, she had an ignite advantage. That's probably what she fought. But Zed, because of my passive, I strive in those situations. And, it was a kind of a nice, I tricked her out by going back to my W, which was behind her, and you know, I think she kind of thought at that point her ghost was burnt. Um, she felt she couldn't get away. I could stay around, but on half HP, uh, with only one pot, it's not really worth it. Um, you know, I might as well back, we get a double longsword, get two more pots, and a pink ward. I always say, if you can afford a pink ward in any lane, and it's just, you know, free vision as long as, or if you put it somewhere nice. Problem with here, you want to put it here, but generally they're finding it. One real good spot, which I saw in a pro game, which I've been doing. It's a bit of a mission to walk over there, so if your lane's pushing, you can do it, and hope that no one's, obviously, this isn't warded. But if you drop a ward right here, you can see Lee Sin uh, walk through his whole jungle, which is really good for knowing when he's coming top. A really OP ward, because generally on this side of the map, if you put a pink ward here, it gets killed, and you can't really protect that while well they're pushing. But also if you're on the other side of the map, you put it here, generally it lasts forever. Um, so it's quite a nice little spot to put it there. I saw them doing it in some of the uh, ward championships. And yeah, we're off to a really good start. We got a slowly kill like that. My ult's up now with Ignite. And, um, yeah, missed my Q there. That wasn't very good. I don't know why she keeps trying to go aggressive like that. If I had full energy, I really want to kill her before she gets level 6. But we don't have enough energy to do that at the moment. Fuck it. Oh, I didn't do my Q. What the fuck? Oh, we, we kill anyway. I didn't... Uh, I think I missed my Q or something. I'm I'm rusty. I'll put it that way, guys. We're doing all right though, but I'm I'm rusty. Um, Poppy, nothing she could do there. She's pushed her lane, so she, you know, this is the problem. When your lane's pushing and you're behind, if you stay out there like this, then you're just gonna die. You're better off just going farming golems and hope that I push a lane. But someone if they're smart and it goes, especially as NASA's, I find it a lot in the moment. If they freeze the lane, what can you do? I can't do anything. It's um, you know, life's so hard, and because because we're level six, she isn't. I think it was even level seven at the time and you know we just have such an item lead over her it's just gg and now lee sin's about to uh come up and die or oh, not that was quite smart i wasn't expecting to actually do that he kind of tricked me out fuck 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 she's level six as well oh the ults the ults Oh, see you there. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> oh, it's a fair play to Sedriwani. Real good. She come at the perfect time. And we had my flash up the whole time. And you know, Poppy kind of realised Sedriwani was there, and you know, she had to kind of commit to it. Um, you know, she's desperate. That's why she's so desperate. She she needs to get. You know, she needed that kill really to. Uh... Oh my god! Where's my ult when you need it? Oh, where's my... What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, we're really fair. That was really bad by Lee Sin. I played that pretty badly. I didn't put... Oh, I didn't play it that badly. We dodged his key, to be honest, which was good. But then I kind of walked into him. Because I was like, my ult's coming up. And I was like, trying to, you know, trying to keep him there for my ult. And well, he flashed on top of me. And just didn't have the damage there. Because the thing... I, you know, people annoyed me so much. And I've had a, been playing a lot of ranked games with a friend at the moment. But I had a Blitzcrank who, who would miss his hook. And then he would then flash in and try and initiate. But someone like Blitzcrank or Lee Sin, if you miss your Q. So that's Blitzcrank's hook. Even a fresh hook. If you miss Lee Sin's Q, you cannot, you cannot engage if you don't have that up, that's your main and clean tool. So you can't just try and flash on me like that. He hasn't got his ultimate or anything, so <laughs> it just didn't make sense. Um, I had everything on cooldown, I couldn't do anything, but just because he messed it up so bad, you know, we're really fed now. Poppy's so far behind. Don't want to underestimate her, but will she build an armor? She's had to build armor now, um, and she hasn't really got anything of it because she's, you know, behind the CS and. We're looking really good. Sejuani's done a really good job this game, even though she got both my kills, which, in all fairness, she was going to let me have both. If I had both now, I'd, you know, I had my Blade Ring King and I'd be super fed, but at the same time, you know, it's really pressure, and, you know, I, yeah, it's just a good job to her. It's a shame we didn't pick up those kills, because she did let me to try, but it's just that red buff. We needed to stop her telling, tell her not to come top with red buff anymore. <laughs> My Qs have been terrible this game though, that's one thing I'm a bit disappointed with. Uh, I say it's so important that you land your Qs because you're limited on energy, especially if you don't have like a blue buff. You know, it, it does kind of suck. And I don't have any energy regen masteries, or uh, runes even. So. We're just so far ahead of her, it's unreal. I wonder, I could have went back to my ult state instead of using my W, I realised that straight away. We're so fed, we have to be careful, Lee will have his kick up, he lands a Q with his kick on me and we'd be pretty much dead. Even though I'm really strong, but I always feel Zed without his ultimate's not that strong, but the games I've been playing, I've really been, enjoying, you know, been doing well without my ultimate, so... Yeah, we're looking good, and I, like I say, don't really play Zed top lane, but if you can snowball top lane like we have done, thanks to Sejuani's early gank, then it's GG. And, you know, Sejuani's been the reason we've got this, or well, because of her early gank really helped, and then Poppy did that stupid 1v1 thing, because she wasn't really far behind at that point, she was a bit of CS, but the thing was, um, the thing was, she hadn't lost a kill or anything, you know, a little bit of assist, so it wasn't really that end of the world. I don't really want to push, because I'm worried that Poppy's ghost will be up, and she's just going to come uh, charging down. So I just let the uh, Lee Sin's pushed it for me. We'll just play safe and sorry. I haven't got my ult, so I've not really got great kill potential over Lee Sin, so. Uh, things are looking right over the board, I think. Lee Sin's got some kills, which is good. Poppy has. Oh, my flipping cues. It's absolutely terrible. <laughs> there we go. What has she got? She got some good armor? She's got nothing. Ninja tabbies. Half a little bit, I guess, but not really a massive deal. We're looking. Oh god, where's my ult when you need an ult? I'm just dead. Yeah. Good job. Knock into the wall. Leave, and in, and means he can land an easy kill. I didn't even least. I didn't even see Lee in there on the mini map. I'm so blind. I wasn't. You know, I wouldn't expect Lee Sin to be there in all fairness. So I was just there and I saw what the hell's Lee Sin doing there? Have no ult. Had my ult been up, we can make a play. But the thing was, where I was stood, it was an easy knock into the wall for Poppy. They take my turret because they know Poppy can't do anything now. Um, so yeah, good job. Um, just unfortunately, cooldowns were against me. And to be honest, maybe even if I had my ult up, you know, Poppy knocks me into the wall. You know, as soon as I get stunned into that wall with the least in there, cue in my face, I'm 100% dead. So probably my position hurt me then, really. Um, I don't know, but I don't know. It's not the end of the world. It's a good kill for. Poppy the uh, early Sin got. So it doesn't really you know, help Poppy out that much, really. She takes my turret, but what does it matter? It matters that Lee Sin probably could do that stuff again without the turret. But, I don't know. There we are. We probably could just, like, kill her straight away if we really wanted to. The thing is, I used a lot of energy up. I don't really like engaging when you don't have energy because you just can't really do anything. Oh, 
I only got a kill. Um, uh, good job. I didn't even use my cutlass. I use, in my head I used it. Uh, obviously I don't press I don't know if I was pressing two or something, chugging on those pots, I'm not sure. But good job. I could have killed her on my own to be honest, I think. We had everything. I didn't even use my cuts, I had my knight there anyway, so um Yeah. Uh, not sure what Lee Sin's up to. Ah, oh, the dashes. The players. I think we should just leave him. Sejuani's quite low. He has his ult. You know, it's pretty. Uh, we do shut him down. I don't know if that was worth it. The thing was, I don't know. Should I? I probably teased Sejuani into thinking I didn't really want to go in. I probably teased her thinking that I wanted to go in because I come over that way. I didn't really want to because I didn't have my ult and Leeson was actually on a kill spree up to that point. But anyway, it was. It wasn't the end one. We got the shutdown, I guess. But I. I guess, I guess it was worth it because we got the shutdown. But oh well, we can can't afford my Blade of Rune King just yet, so I kind of want to get that before we back. But there's not really much to do, so I guess we can. Try and take this bad boy. Hope we don't lose too much HP. I don't really have much life. Well, I have a bit for my cutler, so. Oops, not of any great deal. It does mean that Poppy now could. You know, I'm a little careful, I'm so low, um, and I have to kind of defend this wave, so. See, Poppy's been very aggressive. She's been very aggressive for us, considering she's losing so hard. Maybe she sh knows she's not really worth any gold and she's just going to keep pushing. Um, it's fine. Yay, go me. But, you know, we can't fight her, even though we're two levels higher than her, you know. I've got 15 gold, 15, 1,500 gold to spend and no HP, so it would be dumb to fight her. I'm a bit wary of using my W um, to farm this, because I think once she rid of my W's down, she may just try and go ham on me. And my W is my main escape Oh, that's not good. I'm, w is my main escape tool from Poppy at this moment in time. And my ult, I guess. Oh my god. What happened? What even happened there? That's not good. As bad as we are, uh, Oriana's ult could be game changing in the team fights. This probably was just then. She might actually try and look to go for me. I think she. I messed that up. I messed that up real bad. I should I shouldn't have stayed. Oh, I shouldn't have stayed. I shouldn't have, I should have stayed. Should she not be into that war? The problem was I thought my ult was wasn't here when I ulted. I ulted back on top of her, which was um, really bad on my part. Adriani might get the oh no, at least in the saves. She's going back. What is she doing? Sejuani has, I guess she's, Sejuani's just a tank now, isn't she? Um, that was just bad on my part. I shouldn't, oh, I'm not going to get that actually. I shouldn't have stayed. There is no ifs and buts. Um, I should have backed, you know, I knew how low I was and I was greedy. And we almost turned it around, but I couldn't do anything. I went to the bush and I think I actually missed my Q, which may have made a difference. But, you know, Poppy comes in there and with her Sheen prop, it's GG. Um, not really much we could do about that, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't have stayed. Had I not went back to my ultimate like I did, I think we could have been different, but I thought my ultimate was in a different place than where I actually was. I don't really want to use my uh, Blade of Rune King if I don't have to. Oh, yeah. Happy days. We didn't have to use it. It was a bit risky. I was there like, oh god, if he actually gets away right now, what have I done? Um, you can soak up all these uh, minions as well. You get a dragon, I guess we're pretty good. Leeson's down, so yeah, good job. Um, took a kill out of it, happy days. I think Lissandra even got a kill, which is going to have her out. Um, Lucia is looking strong. How's Jinx? Uh, same, I guess. Around about looking both the same. Thing is, I'm ooh, I'm at that point where I could uh, easily 1v1 Jinx, especially once my Ghost Blade's complete. You know, I can 1v1 anyone, I think, at this moment in time. Um, we'll see. We'll go try and soak up that farm up top. Get my ghost blade. Once we get that, 
uh, it's gonna make life a lot easier killing bots. But yeah, both my deaths were one or both, you know, staying. Well, I couldn't really have moved it when I was here. I just didn't have the cooldowns, and then I sh shouldn't have been there. It was stupid on my part. You know, I knew what Poppy could do, even though I'm far ahead of her. I was just so low, and all she had to do is knock me into that wall, and then she ults, and then she didn't really take any turret damage, and you know, then everything's on cooldown for me, and blah blah blah. I think I probably could have played it better and actually had killed her. I think, but what's done is done, eh? She's building her Triforce now, so she, I don't know, I guess she just feels that she will eventually become stronger than what I am. This means she has no armor, which is good, but I just don't know how her ult works. I know she puts it on me and not really anyone can do any damage, but I'm not really sure how it works in the sense of uh, like how much damage I can actually do to her, or how much it kind of gets rid of. Uh, we're going to back, I've got full HP, but I want to have my Ghost Blade, just in case a fight does break out anywhere, you know, I'm ready to kick some ass. So Oriana is looking scary there. Picked up a fair few kills bottom, 7-1. But at the same time, without her Zonyas, which she's building into now, we can blow her up. But it's, that, it's either that or Jinx, who's Jinx, who's, you know, looking pretty fed as well. That Infinity Edge there, scary. Let's see what we can do against old Poppy here. Nothing. <laughs> As soon as you miss that W, if I miss my W key then I waste so much energy missing that, so I'm on about, you know, you really need to be a landed now. It makes such a big difference when they are landed as well. She want to be careful because I know she knocks me to a wall and then she starts going ham with that sheen there. It's crazy, especially when I have no energy as well. Um... I'll be able to try and make something happen here. We have to be a bit careful. There is a few of them. On. I don't know. Fuck my life. I'm not even gonna get anyone. Hey, see you there. I don't think I could have got any for more. I'm lagging a little bit as well. And Poppy's gonna be pushing top. Didn't use my blade rune king. I would 100% killed Oriana had I used that. I think. I don't know 100%, but. I used my Ghost Blade, I don't know why I didn't use my Blade and Ring King. I'm lagging a little bit, I changed my Frap settings recently, I don't know if that's what's causing it. Mm -hmm. Or it's anything what I could imagine causing it too much. How do you pronounce that? Um, or do I? No, I don't. I don't know actually. I don't know. I don't think I do. This is where my Blade and Ring King, oh my god. Damage. Oh my god, well. Uh, GG, she obviously thought, you know, I can just build damage now because I'm just going to come super strong and I don't even care about Zed anymore. Um, I thought, you know, the thing is I didn't have my ult in that situation, but I thought me and Sejuani there, you know, it was GG, but Sejuani should kill us, a bit of a long process, but... Didn't even get an assist, how suck is that? Uh, need my last whisper, um, so we can, you know, we would definitely kill Oriana of them, but... I think had we used my Blade and Ring King we might have done, but... It's just a way to good crumbles. At least we did kill Brom. I could have carried on chasing, but I did back to my ult clone because I knew that was about to run out. And after that, I had no escape tool because I decided to try and flash on top of them to kill Oriana, which was a bit desperate because my flash was after my ult had ended anyway, so it wasn't like I was going to do any bonus damage. But yeah, shame Poppy killed me then. She's obviously that's the thing. I, you know, I just don't understand Poppy how she she can be so far behind, but yet just goes yeah, I don't care. Same time, I don't have my ult, and I feel when Zed doesn't have his ult, you know, it's a bit weak. But I don't know. Oh my god, what have I just done? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I thought I was actually going to lose it. I made... I just played that so bad. I could have... I could have played that a, uh, a lot better. Not going to lie. I'm lagging a little bit. That wasn't the reason for that, but I am losing, dropping some frames per second, which is a bit annoying. Oh, yes. This is what we have. The thing is, we have Lissandra who could just blow up Oriana. Oh, I say that. And she does no damage. <laughs> she, oh, me. Oh, whoa. If that had killed me. Well, Lissandra does no damage. That's unreal. Uh, she, well, Oriana got away as well. She just does no damage. That's unreal. They get the turret now. I don't have my ult to really stop them. Um. I just can't believe this Sandra, Sandra should have 100% killed her then. 100%. Um, not sure. Look at all these wards everywhere. Wow, well, that was. Uh, that was crazy. It really was. She. I just not understand. Lissandra has no damage. It's not like she's got. Her items aren't like terrible. You know. I don't know. Oriana's items are a lot better, but. 
uh, Pink Ward's made so much money now. That's what I'm on about Pink Ward's. Like, normally I wouldn't place it there, but because, you know, my turret got taken so early, it's, whoa, it's a, um, good defensive ward to have. You got an only got an outdonner. There we go. That was a good set play. Damn you, I flipping bladed rune king. <laughs> that was a nice set play there. We completely outplayed Poppy there, and that was a really nice play. Um, that's me kind of warmed up now, I guess. But at the same time, I didn't use my bladed rune king, which was the whole idea because I was going to slow her and blah blah blah. But that was a nice play. Kind of warmed up now. Took me 24 minutes. That was a really nice play. I'm quite I'm quite happy with myself with that. Um. Especially because she kind of was in the bush and I didn't even think about her being in the bush. She kind of caught me a bit by off, uh, off my guard then, but... Uh, really good job, we get her turret now. Lee Sin's here, don't have my ult. I have my Blade Ring King, Ghost Blade's about to be back at, oh god. Don't have my ult. Don't have my ult, and I'm stunned, yeah. GG to Brom, what a good roam. Um, we get a dragon off of which, which is to be honest worth it. Uh, not like I'm on a kitten spear or anything. Just didn't have my ult, even without my ult, it would have made a difference. Once you landed that stun, you know, the ult stun on me, it was GG. I don't know if it's because I'm actually lagging with internet lag, or it's my fraps lagging, because it says I'm attempting to reconnect, but... I don't know. Am I really attempting to reconnect? I guess I am, because Brom's not actually doing anything. That's pretty annoying. Um, hmm. I bought my last whisper, though. My pink ward, I think, is finally gone. It just doesn't want to show me this moment. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. I don't know if this is internet lag or if this is just the game bugging out or is it actually. Let's have a look quick. I oh, no. I think it was just the game bugging out. I don't know what that was all about. That was a bit weird. Hmm, where do we go now? We have three damage items. I guess we could probably go into a GA. I guess it would be pretty nice. It would give me that extra life. Um, yeah. Decent, looking pretty fed, so we could probably do some armor, help me out a little bit. I think it was Zed, once you have these free items anyway, you know, so I really need. Um, what else could you get? Yeah, I don't know. Bloodfest or something, a Hydra wouldn't be that bad, but I don't know. I've got my three main damage items now where I'm going to shred through anyone, especially Jinx Oriana. So, yeah, we'll see. We probably could just kill. Ooh. Fucking kidding me. I didn't use any of my flipping actives again. Oh, I missed that. That was a good job, Syndra. Save my life. Didn't use any of my actives. I'm a noob. I'm, I'm just going AFK. I'm an absolute noob. I, in my head, I'm pressing them. That's the weird, That's the dumbest thing ever. And I, uh, they all just got raped. Um, I think... Uh, so annoying. We got away. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't kill Lee Sin, or I know I didn't kill Lee Sin. I thought we made a really nice code going back to my ult and stuff, but because of the fact I didn't use any actives, in the end having both my actives saved my life from Poppy, but I don't know. The thing is, we killed Lee Sin, then they probably didn't clear up like they did just then, and then Lucian even went and died to a 1v1 against Jinx, which isn't good, so. Uh, not good signs at the moment. And their team, I think, comps are a lot stronger than what ours is, I think. The Orion and the Brom, Poppy's just getting, you know, Poppy's getting strong. He's got a Triforce there now, um, so. I don't think I can 1v1 Poppy anymore, I don't know, I really just, I just don't understand, she's a champion I never really see played, and then I see them, I see her played, and then I'm just like, what the fuck, how's she doing all this, um, so, I don't know, weird, Do you have the pick potential of Jinx and Orianna still, even though Orianna does have a Zonyas now, which is going to help her, um, but, I don't know, this Poppy is looking quite scary at the moment, we're looking good, you know, we've had a really good game, but uh, Moriana's just got super fed and Jinx is looking quite scary now. I don't know. It's not over, but I think they're certainly in command and lead and just like I say, Poppy's like just seems to be willing to try a static shiv now. She's just not building the armor, it's just because of that ult, I guess. It's crazy. I just don't, I really don't understand how Poppy uh I don't understand how she works. I really don't. It's mind boggling to me. Alright, well the rank sixteen now, so max ultimate. We're going to be able to do some bad damage. Um, let's see. We just need to pick off Jinx, really. We even had a team fight, I don't think. He just ults me like this, and it's like, what the fuck? Dead. Get knocked in the <laughs> Well, we destroyed Poppy early game, but 
This was what I was on about. And this is the problem I had when I was playing Rise. Poppy just comes this late game goddess. She only has a Triforce. You know, a lot of part of that was to the fact that she knocked me into the wall and Lee Sin was there. Um, GG, I think it's over to be honest. I can't even one me one. Oh, it's not the fact that I don't know. Can I one me one Poppy? Maybe. But as soon as she stuns, as soon as I get stunned, I can't do anything and she just does so much damage to me whilst I'm stunned that I'm useless. Um, so. And everyone's so fed around me now. You know, we've had a good game, but we've got fed, and you know, I, mean, I definitely enjoy playing Zed, but I just don't understand Poppy. I really don't understand Poppy, you know. At least Sin, as I say, played a big part in her getting those kills, but. No, I just feel even if Lee Sin wasn't there and she stuns me into that wall, I'm you know I'm dead. Um, just because of the stun and the Triforce, and she gets a stack shiv, then uh, I don't know. Oh. Where's my ult clone? Oh, where am I? Oh my god! <laughs> I did. I thought it. I didn't think it was there anymore, and then I got completely lost where I was. <laughs> I was pressing it, and I went and didn't go back, and I was like, oh god! And then I, next thing I knew, I was in the middle of the hall. <laughs> it was all part of the bait, though. I think it's I couldn't do much to Poppy, so I had to kind of go back, and it's better than more than so. GG. At least we killed Jinx. Totally worth it. Um, stop them. Oh, I did get the inhibitor, though. But I don't know. We cleared up some kills, which is nice. We'll do soon get one v one by Lee Sim. He's seen as looking pretty tanky, and he's got a last whisper, so you know, half his health off with one kick. Had at least actually used his Q to connect to that, then who knows what would have happened? Is he blind? Yeah. Neeson's blind. My poor pink quad there. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I, I hate to put it down on it, but I don't think we were looking too good to win this. So Oriana, you know, is looking unkillable. Alessandra, you know, just doesn't seem to do any damage, you know. And then you have this Oriana who's just going to pretty much blow up everyone with an ult of hers. Um, so, we'll see. Um, and, you know, we have a Syndra support, which, you know, I'm not nothing against Syndra support, but Brom support's going to have a lot more utility in the team fights than what Syndra would bring, so. Um, yeah. I'm lagging still, and I just don't understand why. I really don't understand why. And I can't work out if it's game lag, or if it's my frap lag, because I've changed my frap settings, or if it's just internet lag. It's a bit of nice. Not horrible, but I don't know. It's weird. I feel like I'm dropping some frames sometimes, so it could be fraps. You guys might notice it as well. I guess you would notice it. I don't know. Depends how much I'm paying attention, yeah. So let's see. We just need to have one good. Oh, I don't think we, we get a nice Syndra, uh, Syndra stun, Lissandra, Syndra, uh, Syndra stun. Oh, oh god. Oh god. That <laughs> kill her. <laughs> well, you we messed up some bots, I guess. Use my blade of rune king. That's how we were all. I thought we could just jump in there against Lee Sin. I felt comfortable enough that he wouldn't have the focus on me anyway, and he soloed up with my passive. And, uh, GG, didn't get any kills out of it, but good job. And uh, what well, Jinx wasn't there. I'm waiting for the Jinx ult. Oh, okay. there she is. Oh god, go away, Jinx. I am lagging. I think I'm gonna have to revert to my old frap stands. It's really quite annoying. He seems to be doing it more and more now. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was a really nice fight. Good. As I was saying, we need that decent Lissandra Senjuani uh, combo with their ult, both their ults, and also the uh, Syndra stun. We have quite a good season amount of CC, and then I can just blow them up. And we were under the turret for so long, but she was on you, and there was no one else to focus, so I just kind of stayed on top of her, waiting for Zonius to end. And then obviously she, um, what did she do? She. She did something, she ulted, which I can't believe I got away from an ult, thanks to having Flash and a, uh, my W, we got away and we used my Blade and Rinking, which was nice onto Poppy, you know, kept her slowed, and um, then we also uh, come back to kill Lee Sin. You know, we didn't get the kill, but, you know, we made quite a bit of an effect. Hopefully we should be able to get here, and uh, the problem is I'm going to W in here, so if they were, no, I've got no escape tool now. <laughs> um, oh, Tia said, Joanna. I guess we should just back. What's Cinder doing? She's dead. Lisa was trying to. I don't know actually. She's dead either way. I think this game now. You can my GA, but that's game over because everyone just died in the uh, mid lane. <laughs> so yeah. As much strong as I want to be, it's going to be. I think we're going to be able to do much. 
and I'm lagging. I'm dropping frames. I don't know what Sedjuani's doing. We're not gonna. If anything, we have to wait. But I think we've got. We haven't got time to wait. I don't think. Oh, where's my ult clone? My ult clone. Yes. See you later. <laughs> Uh, it's the problem is I get stunned and I can't get back to us. The issue, but I don't know. We have a GA, so I'm just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Just try and kill me, you bitches. We just try and do any damage we can. Oh god. Oh, we put a lot of damage down. <laughs> we went down fighting. We saved. To be honest, that whole play because of, you know the fact, the fact that I was able to get to my original ultimate clone, which was all the way over here, saved my life. I mean, I could get my HP back, and I sacrificed my GA, and we lost no turrets because of it. And that was all because of. You know, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but that was all because of Mr. Beagross. Um, this frame for second dropping is so annoying. Though I need to write that down now. We must remember to change fraps. Change fraps. What a new. I didn't know why I changed it. My mate. I was trying to help get my mate uh, for Helix Gaming. And I was trying to tell him how to do fraps, and then he was like, "Oh no, use these settings. That's what these guys using." And I was like, "No, these settings always work fine for me." And I think that was the reason why. <laughs> the reason why I never used the settings that he had before. Um, Jinx is alive. Can she get a quadra kill or something? They don't have enough. They have enough damage. There's no jungler, so she could steal it with her ult. In some fairness. We get Baron, yeah. I didn't get it, that's a shame. Three seconds away. But we got it, which means they don't get it, which is, I guess is huge. Um, one item away from completion. What do we go for? That's the question. My GA, my GA saved my life then. I never really liked GAs much, but that GA, I think, just bought us in uh, an extra five minutes. Doesn't mean necessarily won the game because of that. You know, we haven't taken any of the, hardly any of their turrets. You know, we just survived their onslaught for one more wave, and we got Baron, so we might be able to live for you know a couple more minutes. But um, I don't know. So what do I go for now? I might just go for a blood first, uh, just to have the BF sword damage. And I get the shield from it as well. Just try and go heavy down. I don't know, there's not really enough house I can afford. I really want, to be honest. Um, just wait for my GA to come back up. That uh, GA, that was such a huge GA then. It really was. What? Did that even happen now? I'm dropping frames. It's so. Oh, this is not good. Can we actually cure? Oh, god. I'm just gonna have to ult these soon. Uh, gee, I couldn't do anything. I got zoned out of the fight completely then. Not sure how I got zoned out of the fight, but I took so much damage. I just couldn't get to the back line. We got her again, Brom ulted, and then Poppy. I focused Poppy because I didn't want her killing somebody, and thinking Lucian couldn't even. Oh. Lucian couldn't have been there if he's only just. Oh god. Oh god, yes. Wow, GG. Well, well, I thought you messed that up. GG. Well, well played. Um. Yeah, I just got the thing is I couldn't do anything. You know, my job in the fight is to either kill Oriana or, or Jinx, you know, that's what my whole focus is. Even if I die doing that, you know, as long as I get the job done and I die then it's alright, but I think I just lost I got I know I got Brahm ulted and then Poppy come but she didn't ult me, but I tried to kill Poppy and maybe she'd have just left her, but then I got so low and at least in I think yeah, Lee Sin kicked me back actually, I'm pretty sure. Lee Sin kicked me back and I lost so much damage and I had to ult Lee Sin and you know, it was just a desperation ult, like I've got to try something Unfortunately, he just like, used his E and I was dead, so... Um, I'm really losing frames for a second, it's horrible. <laughs> it really is. Um, I'm going to have to sort my fraps out, bear with me, guys. And uh, I have to change my sense real quick, cause I don't like what's happening. I, I don't know if it's the internet, I don't think my internet's lagging, because it, it would be worse than that, I think. We'll go back to how I normally play it. Alright, we should be back up and running. You haven't missed much. Um, I feel it's a lot more smoother now already. For some reason, I'm now at 60 frames a second, where before I should have been at 120. Or well, obviously, League won't run at 120 frames, but it should have been able to go into 120 frames, even though it doesn't really matter to you guys. And it's just so much smoother now. I don't know why I ever listened to my mate. <laughs> I don't know why I ever listened to him. This is not, it's been really horrible the whole game. Or not horrible the whole game, but it's been spikes the whole game, which has been pretty annoying. So yeah, we're in a good position to potentially, it's far from the comeback yet, but we're starting to turn things around and I don't know, we have a good amount of CC there to turn the game around, I guess, so. But Brom's just real tanky, even though know, he's not really doing any damage, but you know, he gets a good ult off and that's not what he wanted. I don't even know what just happened there. That's not good. That could be GG, especially if Leeson goes on to uh, Poppy's there as well. Oh yeah. 
Sejuani is completely caught out from us. And Jinx uh, did have a Banshee, I think someone had a Banshee there. Because we have no different turrets, that's the problem. She actually got away, well. At least he's got to be a bit careful. Because I don't want to go balls deep, because we, I'd rather just wait for Syndra to be back up. Oh god. I was so dead. Didn't even kill her. That's the thing. I went on to her, but because there was there wasn't you know, we were split Sejuani went in and then the Sandra went in and I was like, fuck it, I've just gotta go in now. But we went on to Jinx, but because of the Oriana ult we were then disengaged from her and I just couldn't do the damage I wanted to. I don't think I even used any of my actors either. I suck. I really do. General, I, in my head I'm pressing them, but I'm obviously not. And my GA just come up as well now. So, yeah. That was the thing, if I can't kill Jinx, then it's, I'm useless in the fight. You know, I have to do that to that Oriana, but Oriana got a really good ult off. At least it was just on me in some sense, because they well, they did take that bottom turret, but, you know, I'd, you know I'd been a lot happier had I actually been able to have killed uh, Jinx, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. And Lee Sin is so strong. Lee Sin has been a real looking beastie. So tanky, whilst we have so much damage as well. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we might be able to pick up something here as a desperation kind of kill. Or not. you got to be kidding me. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me even more. Please die. Ah, oh, the shield. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I don't want to surrender. Even though I think we have lost. We fight to the death, but that was, um, really annoying. In fact, we didn't even kill. I just don't know why to have no damage. I can't believe we did not kill Oriana, but, but everything. But it was really greedy by me to do what I did, you know, there wasn't any need, it was just the fact she was low health and I thought I'd be able to get her and you know, we burnt my GA and everything, but we still didn't even get her. And then we even didn't get and then we didn't even get away. Uh, GG to Lee Sin. We even killed Lee Sin thanks to Brom. Even though I don't think my Ignite would have killed him anyway. It was just a desperation Ignite, which I should have used on Oriana. Uh, yeah, real good lane and phase, but unfortunately, you know, the enemy team's just been too fed. And we, we, you know, I'm, I don't know. I've just not been able to get into the back line I wanted, and you know, every, the last two times I have tried to get in the back line, we've just been blown up. We made a really nice play saving the turrets here and everything, but since then, you know, I've just, I don't know. They, you know, Brom's so strong. That's the thing with Brom. He can protect his AD carry, and then you have Oriana. You know, who, if Oriana can use her ult just on me, and they still win the team fight, it's not good. Um, and she can do that and protects Jinx and Jinx stays alive and then Jinx just wrecks and I'm dead and you know and then Jinx just likes to do all back up any damage I've done to her anyway so I don't know it's not over but they're really you know leaps and bounds ahead of us I think even though we've taken some nice dragons and barons but the whole sense of things they are very really far ahead we do have a tanky Sejuani though but uh, Lee Sin seems so tanky as well, but yet has so much damage. He's even sold his last whistle for a ghost blade for some reason. I'm not sure why the idea of that is. I, I think a last whistle would be better, maybe. I don't know. How am I meant? How, who am I to argue with the Almighty Lee Sin? Don't know if this BS was a good idea or not. Um, or the blood going into a blood thirster. I just can't. <laughs> uh, uh. I've done nothing this whole fight. I've only just used my flipping ultimate. GG. Um, I <laughs> did nothing that whole fight. Lee Sin kicks me away, that's what still keeps happening. Is the, he kicks me away and then I can't do anything. Really good job to Lee Sin. We get an ace, which I don't know how, because I say I did nothing whatsoever in that fight but watch. Um, until I, you know, I used my ult on Poppy, which, you know, I should be using on Oriana. The thing was, I was going to ult Oriana, and I just didn't see the point because she was getting blown up so quick. And then, you know, it was, yeah, really good job to the team.
not sure really how it will happen. I think our CC obviously, you know, put the CC on the right amount of people. And the problem is, you know, I was there. I was like, God, I, I, the thing was, I couldn't really cleanly get the drinks because they were all their tanks were in the way. But you know, I attempted to, and Lee Sin saw that, and this is what happened before. He just ults me, kicks me away, and I'm now, oh, what do I do now? Because I have no W to initiate, and and I can't get close enough to get my ult, and I don't have my GA, so it's not I can overcommit for it. And Eventually, we had to use my ult on Poppy because uh, she was the only last person alive. And you know, the fact that I was able to use my ult on Poppy, um, or do nothing, I did nothing whatsoever in that team fight. I, I did nothing, but ult Poppy, which they probably could have killed her without me. Um, it was crazy, and that was really good. And we get Baron again, and this time I had Baron, so that's huge. We just have to wait for our inhibs to respawn, and you know, potentially we could. Uh, I don't know. We're looking, looking strong now. Um, we're going for an Infinity Edge. I don't know if that would be wise or a Bloodthirst would be bad. I swear I'm unsure with Zed to go for my last item. I'm going to go for a Bloodthirster, but... I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know if that's the um, right option or not. I don't know how effective an Infinity Edge would be, but I don't know. It gives us some life steal, but to be honest, I'm not going to be alive long enough for the life steal. Uh, GA is probably about 30 seconds away. So, but we need need to try and make the use out of this Baron buff. And everyone's like full build as well now. Even Syndra's full build and respect to, for, to be honest, unless she was sour sightstone, but uh, it's nice having that ward coverage I guess. But we don't want to focus on Brom, you know, she has no interest to us. Poppy is back door on us as well. We should just fight because Poppy's not here. Where's my GA when you need it? Oh, the Bloodthirster. Uh, the Bloodthirster actually kind of paid off. I didn't use my Blade of I used my Ghost Blade, but I didn't use my Blade of Rinking. And the second time we fought now, and we had no flipping... We had no... We had no flipping... Uh, we had no... GA. I was about five seconds, and that's been five seconds away from having my GA. Problem is, we got split. I was looking for Jinx. They, I, I knew we had to initiate because Poppy wasn't there, so it was a good time to fight. But um, Brom, you know, we couldn't find Jinx, and next thing I know, I got Oriana ulted, and then I went onto Oriana, and we did a really good job. But, you know, in fact, I was staying alive for so long against Brom uh, was crazy. But that Bloodthirst really paid off. We might actually win the game, unless Poppy makes some hero play right now. They're just dead for so long. I think Poppy, I don't know, she could have tried backdooring, but I guess Lissandra was coming back. So what can Poppy do here, though? That's the question. I need Lucian to survive, because he has all the damage. And Royana's about to be out, so it's down to... Oh, God. They're going to do it? I don't know if they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to do it. Is it time for the Zed backdoor? I think we've got super minions coming into our base now, which is not going to be good. They're not going to do it. Nice attempt. Yes, yeah, so we could try the back door, but at the same time, if we messed up the back door, it would be GG. And they could actually push and win now, so we've just got to, I don't know, try and defend all the super minions. Potentially try and save. Uh, try and save her, but she needs to go away. So we may as well just try and. Um, Seen these super minions just defend. You know, we've, we've got the turret advantage, just in case if they decide to push or not. Uh, I don't think they're gonna, so that's a good thing, because we've got super minions against their base, so... I don't know, I could try the back door, but... I don't know. The thing is, if I try it and I fuck it up, then we probably could just lose, which would be really, really bad, so... I just feel shoving out these minion waves is gonna be really important for the moment. You know, I could pretty much solo someone, I have all... I am full build, to be honest, with um, my GA up, and we're ready to fight, if anything, but... It's the question is, do you go for it? If I was NASA, so I'd teleport there right now, but I'm not sure if it's worth. The thing is, if we knew where everyone was, I should really have a sweeper, to be honest. Um, you know, in case we were walking over a ward, you know, so I could try what I'm about to do and then, you know, completely cock it up, and it would be really bad. You know, if I was to get caught out right now, we could lose the game because of me. <laughs> so it's the way I'm kind of like in two minds, whether or not to do it. We can catch out Poppy here, this would be really, really good. Didn't even use my Blade of Ring King again until just then. 
Uh, that was good. We took a lot of damage for it, but it does make it a 4v5 now, so that was really nice. Um, but yeah, I used my Blade of Ring King, it probably killed us sooner, but I, at least I noticed I hadn't used it. I just don't understand why I'm not using it. I'm using one of them, but not both. It doesn't make sense, so. With no turrets now in the mid lane to defend them, we should be alright. We have no ult, but you know, my ult's gonna be up before Poppy's gonna be up, so. It just depends if good Braum or Oriana ult. But we have certainly just have the advantage of the fact that we, we could just take it, to be honest. Just like that, yeah. GG! Wow, um. Didn't think we were going to win that at one point, that was a bit of a crazy game. We had a really good lane phase against Poppy, but you know, the team fights we were struggling a bit because they were quite fed. But yeah, great turnaround, uh, really nice team fight. That team fight we turned it around with and then we got Baron when I didn't do anything in it, it was crazy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I say I haven't played much League um, because we work on a Heat's Game Studio, but please check that out, links in the description. Take it easy, have a great day, great day guys.